Microsoft Power Platform is keep on enhancing its feature for the end users, also for the makers. Hi everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power App. In this video, I will be explaining you the newest feature that is introduced in the Power App Canvas Editor is the modern menu bar. Now, it has given Microsoft Power Platform has given you the newest menu bar option that you can enable that might save the maker's time okay so let me just show you how the previous menu bar is different from the new menu bar so i'm just taking it to my screen so here let me just open one of my application of actually my canvas application so try to see how the previous menu bar are there and how we can enable the new menu bar in our editor. So here we can see this is actually the new the previous menu bar. We have these options at the right side. Here we can see the side tree, all these things, and the menu bar at the top. The file, the home, and on the on every button we get the different options. Okay in the view we get the collection variable media inside the insert we have the component that can be inserted to any screen action through which we can add any type of uh, power automate or maybe any type of a call we can use and we have these settings so in order to in let's check how the new menu bar is is like so we go with the settings you need to just do small setting for this and in the upcoming feature, in the preview only, just scroll down and at the bottom you find this enable modern command bar. Actually, the new bar is a command bar, okay. So if we just enable this, we can see the command bar has now changed. Okay. All the sidebar is the same, but the command bar has actually changed. And here you can see you have the option from redo and do from there, copy paste. If you'd like to insert the component that now you have only one option and from here you will get all your components from this. Here we get this add data, although we have this add data from the side navigation as well, from the side things, but they have also added that into the command bar as well. Now we, the new screen, it is little different from the previous one. The theme, the background color, it's come like that. The background image that you can upload. Okay. So from there, we get the option to go with the settings. Although we have the option to go with the setting from here as well at the right tab. Here you can see we get the option to go for the setting. Also from these three dots, we get the option to go for the setting. And from here, get the option to go with the collection to check all the collections to check all the variables, and also they have given you the app version history. Now you can check your app version history from in the editor itself, in the editor mode or itself. Here can see, I can see all my versions, like whichever is live, whichever is in the development, everything, and share. And here we have the option to save with the version known save as if you would like to store save the new application then you can click on the save as download a copy it will download the ms app file to your local system and it's for the publish like once once you save it you can publish it from here itself you need not to go with the file and all now the option is if anyone would like to go with the file and all where are those features so you need to go with these collections from here Okay, and can, then you can get all these features here. Okay, so this is how the, this is actually the modern command bar in the canvas editor. It uh, some way saves the maker's time. I'm not sure like how, but yes, it will save. So yes, that is, or if you like, if you don't like this, you, you can go with the previous one from the settings. Just go with the settings in the upcoming feature and scroll it down and disable this and you come back with the previous command bar okay 
because the some and also this command bar is actually uh, completely depend on your application if you have enable your uh, some application or your a application with a modern command bar and you open the b application then in the b application you need to enable the modern command bar okay there is no dependency between them you need to enable the command bar for the application and whenever you try to open the application for the other next time you will get that command bar that you have selected at the last time okay so it is completely um, i give i would say the application dependent okay so yes guys so that is all in this video well i'm recording this video on the september 2022 so i'm not sure how many new versions would come and how many new latest latest type of u experience would come okay so let's stay tuned for the next features or the next update for the editors okay so thank you everyone thank you have a nice day bye bye